Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Hope everybody is doing well. We are here. We are alive. And um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that uh, it does a little better than last time. We had a little glitch last time, which I thought was solved by getting a new computer. But uh, apparently it's crept back up. Same type of thing as before. So I'm trying to find this stream right now so that I can see what you guys are here there you go there you go okay very good we got donald new mexico he's the only one here that's it yeah the notifications have been off lately too hello donald it's just you and me here buddy that's right just you and me and one other person it's crazy yeah the notification squad has not been working as of late here on youtube and uh, so but yeah so we'll let uh we'll go through some of these comments here uh, as we wait for people to come in, but thanks for being first and being here, Donald. Yes, indeed. And Terry is here. Good to see Terry, too, by the way. Donald, you will see, by the way, I think he was the first to show, uh, that he has been a honorary citizen for one month now. So it's changed his, uh, his icon and got a little darker. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Good to see Terry. Terry79 is here. Welcome to you. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, indeed. It is Valentine's Day. St. Valentine. I think he was beheaded, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, he was beheaded. Poor guy. Sterling Cannabis is here and AG47 Surfer. So now people are starting to pop in. Slowly but surely. Freedom Stacker says $125 can make your own way cheaper. That's true. A $75 cheap version, I guess that's a kit to do it. Yeah, the problem is sometimes, you know, you can save a lot of money uh, on some of this stuff. But the problem is, is that uh, when you do that, the time time it takes to actually do it, is, is it worth it? You know, that type of thing. Hello, Juan Ortiz. Good to see you. It's not good to see Alan Gold, but I'm looking at him anyway. You know what I mean? Hmm. Ah, yes, indeed. All right, here we go. Moving on up. All right. First again, for Silver Drill Pickle, this is on the U.S. Mint Store Tour in Washington, D.C. All right, very good. Nice. Cool share. Thank you, Metal Bump. Yes, happy VD to you, Sterling Cannabis. Happy VD. All right. And Juan Ortiz is here. Hello, Juan. Good to see you. Oh, man. Tell you what, it's slim pickings with the viewers and the videos too. Not getting as many views here lately. So Cal Silver, pretty cool looking. Yeah, I think they did a good job remodeling that storefront. Yeah, they did a good, pretty good job indeed. We got Ozzy Alchemist here. Good to see Ozzy is with us. All right, Wild Turkey 38. Pretty cool, Sal. Thanks, by the way. I got German, Germania, Columbia coins today. Yes, I did too. If you haven't seen it yet, I got the 10 ounce thing is massively thick. It is thick, thick as all get out. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Pretty crazy. I'm watching my stream health here uh, and to see what's going on. Uh, but so far, everything seems to be running fine. I don't know what's was happening last time, but hopefully we won't get any issues. That's this Streamlabs, this software that I use to stream from is very unforgiving. It doesn't let me know. It just says if it disconnects, if it loses any connection at all, it just stops. Now that's it. You can't do anything about it. So if it does happen, we may have to go back to our backup and, and go to uh, StreamYard, which is puts that annoying logo, but at least it's something there. And I don't know of another way. I, I did change one s slight setting um, uh, to this thing that, and I might actually see about this bandwidth. Uh, and uh, some of these things here. I did uh, change one thing on there that hopefully will make it a little bit better or less likely to fall out, anyways. Anyways, all right. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Mark B. Good. Yeah, good. All right. All right. Uh, Mark B. is here. And he has officially blocked Alan Gold. 
and he wants to Alan Gold to know that he has blocked him, and he's not going to change it. That's it. He's not going to change it back. No matter how much Alan Gold begs and pleads with him, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Hello, Evan Thomas. Good to see you. Evan Thomas is here. Welcome, sir. But Alan Gold, I think if you do your due diligence here and are really nice to Mark B and you beg, you have to just literally come crawling and do it in the chat here and beg him to unblock you. I'll see if I can convince him, but you're going to have to do some, you have to convince me first. You know what I mean? You've got to convince me first. All right, let's see here. Okay, Austrian Stacker says, I have been to Washington several times. Why the heck did I not visit the shop? Yeah, it's kind of in a little nook and cranny. It's not quite as secret as the uh, secret coin shop that uh, International Stacker's gone to. However, it is not really, uh, it's kind of just unassuming, really, you think about it. Crazy, all right. Sal equals pencil net geek. How dare you compare me to Adam Schiff, Alan Gold? Man. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see here. Sean, 11744. Alan Gold and Sal Secret Lover. Oh, that's why it's Valentine's Day and we're both here at the same time. That could mean something. Sean might be onto something there for that. You know what I mean? I think I'd rather have, I think I'd much rather have Terry as my Valentine. All right, Jonathan Reese says, At Mex is an hour and a half north of me. I wonder if I can do a tour and if they have a store there. I don't think they've got a front store, but you can try it. It would be pretty cool. All is one now is here and, and is glad that everybody's getting along. And so is Barbara Carbone. Hello, Barbara. Here's a slurp in your honor. Mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Mm. Good coffee. All right. Very good. Austrian Stacker is here. All right. Yes, Austrian Stacker. It is on 9th Street. Got to go to 9th Street. Yes, indeed. Uh, for proximity, check out my live stream where I take a night walk. You can see kind of what's around there. It's near Chinatown. Yeah, I'll put it to you that way. All right. Let's see here. Very good. All right. We've, uh, we've got... Uh, Barbara's juice is flowing from the coffee slurp, and that's right, SFU. And it is not an insult when I say SFU. Silver Drip Pickle is driving a pickle. Is it a green pickle or a purple pickle? Sounds like a purple pickle because your icon is showing up as purple. All right, Rocky Superstar is here. Manicunian Stacker. Hello, buenos dias, sound meister. Enjoy my tea. Actually, it's coffee, but thanks for noticing. All right. There's a heart for all is one now. Very good. Okay, let's see here. All right, Omega Shadow says, hit like button. I did number 54 mail call video. Wow, 54 mail call videos. That's pretty amazing. That was cool, Uncle Sal. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Mark B., who I should remind folks has blocked Alan Gold. Alan Gold, you've got to, when are you going to start convincing me and coming groveling and begging to unblock Mark B? I'm going to be your advocate, Alan Gold, but you got to do it. you got to do it. Driving lurking, but hearts for all. Thanks, Silver Heist. You were the man. You were the man. All right. CCT says, thanks for the tour, my friend. I don't think I could go there myself. I hate crowds and cities. I understand. I really do. Yeah, but thanks, CCT, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. And the one and the only. Check him out on YouTube. And does a great job with his videos. Larry Whittington says, absolutely incredible. He says he might be here tonight. So, Larry, there we are. We're shouting. We're responding to your comment verbally on a live stream right now. So, I hope you'll pop in at 6 o'clock. We're here just awaiting. All 25 of us are right here. We got 10 thumbs up. I refuse to thumb up my own video. Not going to do it. Nice, says the Jackie Bear. Thanks. He usually calls me Brother Sal, but maybe not so much. All right. Everybody, everybody, okay, let's see here. All right. 
Silver Wolverine, hello, I have a yellow thing on my video I just uploaded. National debt to be cut to one trillion by the end of 2021. It's not ad friendly. Oh yeah, 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 you know, I hear you. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, all the videos, I've only done a few in relation to precious metals and the coronavirus and they've all been demonetized. Yep, in fact, the one I just did yesterday, they've confirmed that they will not monetize anything with, with that, unfortunately. Thanks, Mark B. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Appreciate that, Mark. All right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, right Side Up says, What? Am I wrong or has the United States mint not made of President Trump coin yet? Because I've been looking. Yeah, they're not going to. It is, uh, with very few exceptions, they're, uh, they don't make uh, coins uh, of, uh, of living people. Now, they will do a medal a presidential medal for Trump once he leaves office, not before. That's right. Or once his first term is done, then they might do a first term medal uh, is there, but yes. Hello, Len D. Good to see you. Len D is here. We got D. Peterson. Yeah, Rody Miss Soaring. We talked about that in today's video too. It's now over $10,000 on the bid side. It's 11200 right now. We'll check that out here in a moment. Uh, Native Stacker is here. Thank you, my friend. He says, good video on the Mint Store. Thank you so much, Native Stacker. Appreciate that, my friend. All right. Yes, Len D. Good to see Len D here, too. Rocky Superstar says, Sal, very nice. Thank you for sharing. I don't think I can go through the store that fast. Do they have the reverse 2019 Eagle there for sale? No. Even though there's, you know, just over 200 and some odd still left out of the mintage, none were for sale there. I don't think none ever were for sale there, only online. Say it's 69, awesome stuff, Sal. I've never been to an actual mint shop and never been to D.C. Thanks for bringing us along. Well, sure thing. Glad you enjoyed. Appreciate that. Edwin NYC is here waving to us. I think he's relatively new here. Good to see you. Uh, those who bully are cowards. Alan Gold, that goes for you. That's for you. Says, hello, used to be called Lightning Angry at your own, formerly known as Food Stamp. Terry says, happy Valentine's Day. Well, thanks, Terry. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Look at that new picture. She's a saint. She's a saint. Let's study this picture. I'm going to study this picture of... Look at that. There's Terry Rabidoobie. She's got these dreads. Look at that. All right, there she is. She's a saint. She's a saint, she is. All right, Don in New Mexico says, 19th, hi, Sal. Wow, I saw your reflection on the showcase glass. You sure are short and fat. Yes, and yeah, right. That I am. All right. I'm the government, official government mint shill. They're paying me big bucks to do that video, Alan Gold. I'm, they're paying my salary big time. Oh, yeah. Am I all about pumping up the U.S. mint? I am the uh, big time shill for the U.S. Mint. Vertical Stacker says, never been there. Those are some great displays, though. Once you pan to the, to the coins in the ceiling, I realize just how few of them I actually have in my collection. I think I need to diversify more. Appreciate the tour. And I was remiss because I should have mentioned that there were some metals up there, too. In fact, there are probably about half of those were metals, not coins. Jimmy is here. Greetings from New York. Yes, there's you have another one from New York here. And Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Good to see CCT. Um, how many of you guys got a notification of this live stream, or just knew my schedule when we're here? If you did did uh, not get a notif notification but knew the schedule, press four. If you did get a notification, press the number one. There's the brother Sal. I was waiting for it. Yes, the Jackie Bear. Now he calls. Now my my. Now I feel like I can rest easy because the Jackie Bear has popped in and said, "Brother Sal, thank you very much." All right, he is the man, the Jackie Bear, the one and the only. All right, so one if you got a notification, four if you didn't but knew the schedule. Okay, Barbara knows the schedule, so she just popped in. All is one now. So notifications are not working at all. Looks like. Uh, all right, cool. Thanks, Silver Wolverine. Appreciate it. I'm going to check out your video, too. 
check out Silver Wolverine. A lot of fours, no one except four. We have one person, I think one person. Jimmy Lacari got the not got the notification and Len D. So that's two. And Federus Silver, Federalist Silver is here, and this is his first live stream. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate you being here. All right. Speedin 108 is another uh, honorary citizen who is toggled up for he's in his uh beginning a second month as a member and so the icon is representative thereof so means he's a little darker for the icon there very cool all right a couple austrian sacker got a one silver wolverine got a one federalist silver got a one cool and silver wolverine got it on his phone okay cool all right very good four was in a suggested fee when i watched metal detecting channel cool very cool ozzy by the way, Ozzy, appreciate him being a, a a faithful viewer for so long. Appreciate you, definitely. And, of course, Barbara and Terry, appreciate you guys. And the CCT, Donald New Mexico, Speed 108. There's a lot of good uh, good folks uh, out here that have been with me through thick and thin and everything in between. All kinds of viscosity, yes, indeed. Uh, okay, Jackie Bear got the video uploads but not going live. Okay, that's cool. All right, thank you for that. Dutch Silver Pirate is here. Hello to you. All right. Brookland Special says it's far too far to travel for me to get there. You should not get too greedy in such a candy store. That's right. You're exactly right. I got to be careful. In fact, when I was in the U.S. Mint store, I'll tell you guys this story. This is quite interesting. When I was in there, there was a dude that walked in and just whipped out. Uh, a credit card and and put on uh, bought the uh, most expensive coin in there, which is the which is the uh, palladium, uh, one ounce reverse proof coin. Just whipped it out and got it and went away. It's insane. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, Terry's a diehard fan. Thank you for being a diehard fan. You're awesome. Hey, thank you. All those one now. I appreciate you, my friend, for sticking with me. All those one now. Good guy. All is one now. Him, him and I have had. A, a, it's been a while, but we had a little, little friendly debate over um, flat Earth, and he's very gracious, very kind, and uh, uh, and I appreciate his his uh, putting up with me on that and teasing and the bit. But yeah, very good guy, good guy. All right, Rocky Superstar is here. Uh, let's see here. Terry's had thick and thin and everything in between. <laughs> Try and CCT. Did he touch you, Sal? Terry? Did who? Who touched me? I'm, I'm missing something. Who touched me? I don't know. No one's touched me. Austrian Stacker sends flowers to all the ladies and bouquets, indeed. Alpha Robbins, that and Golden Eagle Coin Store are my are my DMV coin stores. Glad to see you in my city. Cool, awesome, nice. Alpha Robbins, shoot if I'd have known, we could have met up. And I like to meet up with. I know uh, sometimes that. Um, uh, International Stacker comes through there too, but I don't get the chance to uh, get in the city quite as often, right in the downtown part of the city as often as I'd like. Kind of pain in the butt to kind of get around there too. All right, awesome. Sal says, Cheap Laugh Kennedy. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're the new here or you change your name. Would you, were you, weren't you Couch Potatoes Kennedy before? PMU, Precious Metals Update says, Sweet on the giveaway the kilogram of silver giveaway the one winner the guy that whipped it oh yeah yeah no no he didn't touch me he was a he was he was navy he was military he um he was cool he whipped out he whipped out his car but he didn't touch me with the card he didn't touch me with anything he didn't even acknowledge that i was there all right silver wolverine bought an 1893 carson city morgan at lcs today a rough one but probably ag grade I'm going to predict that you paid uh, 80 bucks for it. Am I wrong on that, C uh, Silver Wolverine? I guess you paid $80, 80 to $90. Let's see here. I like Golden Eagle Coins, too. Very cool. MMA matchup from Kalonic Stacker. Racist Dwarf Michael Bloomberg versus Led Zeppelin bassist John Paul Jones. Going to have to go with John Paul Jones on this one uh, because he just pretty sweet, uh, steady bassist. And um, Michael Bloomberg is just a swindling, quindling, mindling, little puny nobody. With a lot of money, though. <laughs> With a lot of money. Hard 40 and Barbara Terry and Donnie 
Break out the good booze, says Tricky Guy, who's here. We got the hard 40, finally. It's actually 38 now, I'm watching now. 18 thumbs up. We've got less love viewership because a lot of people didn't get notifications, but it's all right. All right, rhodium just below 15K bid on Austrian dollar, Australian dollars. Yeah, crazy, not Austrian. 15K quid, says D. Peterson. Very good. Dutch Silver Pirate, is it better to stack 999 Silver 999? Does it not matter when you melt it? No, it doesn't matter. It does not really matter. More more people are going to the, um, to the uh, whatchamacallits, the 495, more mints are doing it, but there's no difference, really. It's negligible. All right, John Knapp is here. Hello, what's up? Good to see you, sir. Another new, he's another new member. He is the... Um, um, uh, honorary citizen, good to see you. Sterling cannabis, sweet. What did you buy? I'm gonna do a video on that, uh, maybe tomorrow of the of my pickups from the U.S. Mint. Nothing too expensive, but I wanted to get a couple stuff. Jimmy Lacari, the gold to silver ratio is too high. Silver is very undervalued um, at the ATM. In other words, when he goes to the ATM, he sees that silver is uh, undervalued. Actually, I've actually talked about that, uh, Jimmy Lacari. But yes, indeed. It's. Uh, I don't know that it's undervalued. I don't know that. Uh, and it is high. It is. It is high. A lot of people feel like it's too high. But all right, Mad Madui Mashup Subsol. That's interesting. How you got your name to go gray like that? That's interesting. He's new here. Oh no, I see what that is. But that's cool. How you got the symbols there? That's interesting. Characters there. All right. Better be, better be, yo, better be. Kalonic Stacker, appreciated that cool live stream the other night, walking around DC. That was awesome. Thanks, Kalonic Stacker. Appreciate you hanging in with me through that. That was a fun time. Yeah, where's the president? We haven't seen pr Donald Trump here lately. All right, Evan Thomas, I sold one of my dirt bikes for a couple of 10th ounce gold eagles yesterday. Score, sweet, Evan. Nice. I hope you're able to get a pretty good amount of them. Hold on a second. I had to let the kitty out. The kitty was begging for begness. All right. Uh, let's see. Set it in for grading. Whoa. My LCS thinks a good grade only 677,000 minutes. I paid 170. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Cool. That is good. That's how banned Trump. No way, no way. All right. Let's see here. Vogus gives me uh, smiles and stuff over this. Thanks, Vogus. He is actually, Vogus is a, he is the newest member of the uh, honorary citizen, st citizen status, which is cool. Silver Streak says, you're very nice too, or Sal loved it. What an awesome scale that was too. Happy Valentine's Day, Uncle Sal. Thank you, Silver Streak. Appreciate that, sir. Very kind of you. Cha Ching says, awesome. If it was me, I'd try I'd be trying to buy it all on my credit card. Wife would be screaming at me, you're never coming back here again. No, I hear you. I know. I tell you what, it's tempting walking in there. Lots of wild stuff. Mm. Kenneth Goodson is here. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome indeed. All right, all your videos have had pet advertising lately. Are you kitties on the take? No, actually, the way the advertising works is it is uh, based off of your viewing preferences um, So for the viewer. So you might get cats. Another person might get toilet seat cleaner. I don't know. Or it could be somebody could get, um, you know, music-related advertising. Somebody, you know, just depends on what your preferences are. I can't control the ads, really. Tricky guy, did your cat actually stop our session in order to get you to open your door? Now we want to know who wears the pants. Yes, tricky guy, the kitties rule the roast, rule the roast, rule the roost. Indeed, I can't say that two times fast, much less one. Victor Illustrato is here. Welcome. I think he's new here. We got Hillbilly Prepping is here. Greetings to you. The Dutch Silver Pirate, the Dutch brought silver to America, I heard. Well, there's a lot of discovery. 
The Spanish found a lot of silver in Mexico and Peru. The Silver Mountain, yes indeed. A silver Drill Pickle is here. Hi, Barbara. He says to Barbara, hello. Silver Heist. Did you find any of the missing 293 unsold 2019? Enhanced reverse proof American Silver Eagles. No, I did not, but that is a good question. I should have asked him about it, but they would have laughed at me. CCT gets ads for man thongs. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we know what he's watching. All right, CCT. Grow Mechanic. You see the footage from a reporter on Glenn Beck's channel today. One little hospital needs 100 body bags a day. Yes, I did hear about that. Um, I didn't see it, but I heard it on the radio. In fact... They're detecting um, uh, the atmospheric conditions from apparently burning bodies, too. So that's when I say, hello, Spectacular. Spectacular is here. Yes, good to see Spectacular. His coin show um, interview with the coin guy, those videos are on fire on his channel. Check out Spectacular. The Spectacular chan channel, good guy, too. Welcome. All right, very good. All right, and Hopeful Stacker. Hello, Hopeful Stacker. Welcome. Good to see you. I think you're new here, too. Welcome to Hopeful Stacker. And Victor Illustrato is new, I believe. What is better, Silver Rounds or Silver Eagles BU? I think if you had to choose, the most liquid are going to be Silver Eagles BU. Uh, more liquid. Um, and people say, well, you pay a premium for them. And some places may not give you spot. But... The thing is, is that most places will give you spot, maybe even a little bit more, but some LCSs won't, but they're more liquid. And I think that's kind of the thing. So I think if you're a pure stacker, I would get Eagles. But it's nothing wrong with getting just generic bullion as well. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Now, let's get back up here to these things. Cha-ching! I'm new to the silver community and I'm hooked. Great video, sir. Well, thanks, Cha-ching. Welcome, sir. I'm glad. And, uh, yeah, take the time to look around. And um, and you can. there's a lot to learn. But there's really not a whole lot. It, it's, uh, I think there's some basic fundamentals to silver stacking. And, um, yeah. Anyways, very good. Okay, let's see here. American Silver... Wages are the way to go. So Jimmy, I'm new to the community about 30 days in, says Hopeful Stacker. My videos are still shaky. Well, no well, no problem. And welcome. Congratulations. Um, um, and welcome to the community, Hopeful Stacker. All right. Very good. I'm joking. First time commenter, but long time slurper. I love this channel. Well, thanks. I'm joking. Appreciate that. It does my heart good to see new people popping in and interacting. And thanks for being a viewer. Oh, man. Oh, yes. And Cyber Curtain Twitcher, he makes any fake silver more liquid. He sure does. You guys, you've got to check out Cyber Curtain uh, Twitcher's channel. He has done, there is a way. He knows how to, he's almost like a magician. And uh, he has had me second looking at his videos, the way he does it. You got to see it to believe it. But he knows how to make fake silver uh, beg beg for mercy and they, they get none on his channel but just overall great channel too coins a to z is here hello stackers and collectors good to see coins a to z hope you're doing well evan thomas likes anything constitutional me too all right very good all right u.s rhodium proof coin yes oh man that would be interesting if there was one margaret stoner is it like in canali I don't know what that in Canale is. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Full Push Metal says, let's explore. I must say I'm wanting that ceiling in my coin room. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Going to see about making that a thing. If anybody could do it, Full Push Metals can, considering uh, the work, some of the work he does. And knows a lot about construction and about finishing and about... Uh, insulation and the like thanks for taking me inside uncle south slurp worthy production again keep pushing thanks and subscribe to the full push metals channel good guy yes indeed all right silver stanger is here silver stanger good to see you all right mm. uh, 
Oh, wow. Yes, Hopeful Stacker. Yes, thank you for checking that out. Yeah, isn't that something? That thing is super thick, isn't it? I mean, that's like the thickest thickness I've ever seen on a round, for sure. All right, Learned the Hard Way. Speg, Yankee, Silver Joker, and Sal got me started. Well, thank you, Learned the Hard Way. Yes, there's some good people here, for sure. Spectacular, Yankee, Silver Joker. Yes, good folks. All right. Super Share. Well, thank you, sir. Meneer, appreciate that. His comments. Silver Wolverine. Seems like gold at spot is sold out. Yeah, I saw people were commenting on that video. And um, it was working for some. And then they come back and it, and it wasn't. And then it would go back and, back and forth. But it looks like it's gone now. But I didn't want it to vet it before I shared it. Harvey Greensman is here. Greensman. Good to see you. Harvey, we got 53 viewers. We got 26 thumbs up. So appreciate that. And uh, let's see here. Yes, good to see you. Hello, Avengers is here. And Cha-Ching is here. He made it. Cha-Ching made it. You know, we saw below, he said that he was uh, new to the Silver community. And we're so glad he's here. Welcome, my friend. Very glad you're here. Welcome indeed. All right, he made it in. All right. Um, <clears throat> Donner, New Mexico on the world's thickest silver metal video, the 10-ounce allegories in Germania and Colombia. Uh, says, Donald says, hi, Sal, you're thick. Oh, man, well, thank you, sir. That's what she said. All right, very good. All right. Arnie C says, mmm, love the chunky ones. That's what she said, too, Arnie. All right, yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them chunky, too. We're down with the thickness. Albert uh, B uh, Buchesny, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Buchesny, welcome. I think you're new here, too. So we're glad to have you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good. A lot of new folks. That's that's encouraging to see more people getting involved in the precious metals. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's move on up here. We've got uh, Sal likes them thick. Yes, indeed, I do. Indeed. And uh, Conrad Pond says. Would it be rude to ask how much you spent on it? I love a good purchase, my man. Actually, no. Um, uh, I think I did say five ninety nine, technically six hundred bucks. I think Clint heard that, but yeah, no problem. You can ask, and I may not, probably won't get that back out of it if I were to sell it, especially with a couple of marks on it. But that's not why I bought it, um, and that's the difference. All right, tricky guy. Percentage wise, will you tell us what your personal gold to silver ratio is? That's actually a very good question, Tricky Guy. I don't really um, know specifically um, because a lot of my stuff is collectible. The, the collection is spread out at different locations. And uh, so if I pulled it out, but I'm trying my best to narrow that ratio with the gold purchases I've been getting. But my guess is it's still way above the actual price ratio now. So it's probably above uh, 100 to 1. In fact, I'm sure it is above 100 to 1. Terry, did you get me something? I got you a, um, a big old hug, a huge, uncomfortably long hug. We just, have to, we just have to meet in order for me to give you that hug, that affection. You know what I mean? All right, I'll keep my hands above the waistline now when, when we do, okay? Just so you know, all right? Hmm. Uh, Jimmy, I got involved in precious metals as a source of wealth preservation because I know Social Security is bankrupt and young Americans won't be able to retire. Yes, it's a, it's a, and it's something that it takes a lot of patience, Jimmy, through the long, long run. All right, let's see here. All right, yes, I should go bowling with it. You know what, dude? I was thinking about it. It looks, it reminds me of like a, a an extra thick skateboard wheel. I'm gonna drill a hole in it and put it on the uh, skateboard wheel. Put it on my skateboard. But I could go bowling with it too. Bowl those duck pins. Yes, speeding 108. Precisely. A Joe Biden hug. That's what I'll give Terry. <laughs> yes, indeed. I want one for Barbara too. Barbara too. Yes, indeed. Find me in Facebook, says Jay Sumiller. Sumiller. All right. Sal and Biden are right. Exactly. I'm almost as creepy as, oh, as Joe Biden. Almost. 
Hey, speaking of uh, politics, I'm going to get political just for a moment, guys. Bear with me. I'm curious for all of my – I I do like the diversity on the, on, on the channel here, okay, and we have several here. For those of you who uh, whose politics lean more towards the left wing or liberal side, who are you going for? Who are you rooting for for president on the Democrat side? Um, who do you want to get the nom? Not, not not who you think will get the nomination, but who do you want? I'm just curious here in, inside the chat here. All you guys that are more left leaning in your in your um, in your uh, uh, viewpoints. I just want to take a quick poll of, of you guys to see who you guys, I'm just curious on who you want, not who you think, but who you want to be the nominee. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to wait 30 seconds for that question to get out there. The thing is a, has a long delay here. Okay. Let's see here. Um, Ozzy Alchemist. Send it to NGC for grading. Would love to see their face when they try to slap it. I don't know, man. Could you imagine that's going to be? It would be something else if they. I don't know what they would do for that. You know, they can. They've done some of these other things, but not. Um, our Barbara has not uh, decided yet. Cha Ching says Yang. Yeah, and he just dropped out. Uh, yeah, recently, but he's pretty impressive. And actually, you know who's taking his mantle is. Um, um, Tulsi Gabbard is going to do the thing. All right, so let's see here. Uh, who else? Okay, so Barbara hasn't decided yet. Donald New Mexico didn't give a serious answer. Coins A to Z might do a write-in candidate. Mr. T. Okay, uh, but it's okay, so nobody's... Nobody's put in there. All right? Trump said he will vote Dem this year. Oh, wow, wow, he will vote Dem this year. All right. Everybody here likes Trump. Yeah. Trump will win. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I kind of am thinking that could be the case, Terry, but I don't know. I don't want to say for sure. I don't want to jinx it, but let's see here. Um, Jimmy, in all honesty and good conscience, I couldn't vote for any front runner of the Democratic Party because they were socialists and communists. All right. Yes, and the Iowa results now in. Hillary won. There you go. <laughs> Silver Heist. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's funny. American Stacker says Trump. All right. So nobody that has those views uh, have um, um, has said anything about. They've not picked a, a name. What do you guys? Well, I don't want to. Buttigieg. You know, he's he's pretty smart guy. Buttigieg is, but anyways, but. Anyways, I, I just thought I'd ask, but no worries if you don't if you guys don't want to answer. No worries. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Back to here. C one seventy two pilot dude, that thing is wicked. You could beat someone to death with that coin. Yes, indeed, <laughs> sure could, pilot dude. In fact, it could probably be a landing apparatus for a, a C one seventy two Cessna, perhaps. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see here. Um, Sparky Silver Stacker, very cool. Too high of a premium for me, too. Yes, it is a very high premium coin. And the thing is, is some of these premiums for these coins, you have to really like it to want to get something like that. And Coins A to Z says, I purchased the previously thickest silver round, the 5-ounce Germania and Britannia silver round. And yes, I think um, Coins A to Z is right on that because I did a... A video i think i did a video showcasing it compared to the uh, five ounce um king tut but the king tut has a diameter of 40 millimeter where the five ounce allegories has a diameter of 38.6 millimeter hopeful stacker will vote for sal oh well thank you thank you i uh, i don't think i could do well there man let's see here but thank you so much let's see here pete butt munch man you guys all right let's see here Step Stacker's here. Hello, Step Stacker. Good to see you. St. Eve is here. This is MAGA country. I live in Europe. Mm. And Cha Ching is new, still trying to just add weight with the least amount of cash. Yes, you can't really go wrong there, except for the only way you can go wrong there, Cha Ching, is if you have unrealistic expectations for silver. In other words, I feel strongly that if anybody's going to get into stacking silver for weight, 
you got to have the stomach for the markets because it has become more volatile um, uh, as of late. And uh, but yeah, it's uh, but if you, as long as you hang in there for the long run, you should do fine. You should do fine. Pudenda is here. Hello, Pudenda. Here's a slurp in your honor. Happy Valentine's Day to Pudenda Johnson and to Barbara Carbone. All right, Calvin Cooper. Happy Valentine's Day to all Sal's gals. Yes, indeed, Sal's gals. All right. So for Wolverine, I'm thinking of becoming a Bernie bro in the primaries. I want I want Bernie to win the nomination. I would thought about that too. That'd be pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Very expensive. All right. Silver Sling Blade says, use a hammer to break it break it out of the capsule. Yeah. Actually, Silver Sling Blade, if you watch to the end of the video, I was able to strategically remove it. And you will see that at the very end. Because if I used a hammer, I would destroy the capsule. The only way I could get one is to buy another one of those coins. And I can't find them. And they're hard to find these days. Especially at that price, but yes, good idea. Pamela Rice, another sales gal who's not here with us right now, but maybe she'll pop in on this Valentine's Day. The five mythical creatures, the Perth Mint, they were slugs. Maybe someday I'll recoup my cost. Win some, lose some, that's right. And to me, none of these coins are really about, at least for me, that's not about the resale value. It's about the, the joy of collecting and, and owning something. But I'm learning a hard lesson trying to sell some coins uh, recently that I've not been able to, but there's another story on that, and uh, it is what it is. But I never I ne never go in with any expectations of what the resale value will be on anything related to precious metals. WTH coins and silver, not sure on this one for the premium, and that's totally understandable, totally understandable. Get a slab, says uh, Donald in New Mexico. Yeah, can you imagine... What that would look like, man, crazy. Coins A to C. Are there more cat or dog lovers in the Salvation Nation community? Hmm, you know what? I've never actually polled it. Let's try it right now. Um, and just, just just say, let's take uh, Coins A to Z's questions. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Just type the word dog if you're a dog person. Type the word cat if you're a cat person. That should be pretty basic. That way I'll know. Won't forget the numbers for like one for cats, two for dogs. So it's just type dog if you like dogs more. Type cat if you like cats more. Or cats and dogs, plural, either one or, or either one. Which do you like, either or either? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mark B says dog. He's breaking my heart. No, I'm kidding. That's understandable. All right, Terry's only being nice because it's Valentine's Day. Pudenda Johnson is a dog person. I'm joking as a dog person. Donald New Mexico says two. Dog, 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 dog. Hopeful stacker dog and cat dog, all animals. I'm a weed person, son of a dog and cat, dog and cat, weed. Dog, Barbara says all, neither bird, cat, Dog, more dog people. I should have had two dogs instead of this these cat thing. My channel would have been really popular. Puppy Tat says Bigfoot. Silver hide and seeker. He's got tattoos of puppies on him on his person. Donald likes dogs more. A serious answer from Donald. Amazing. I don't want a serious answer from Donald. Donald, give me an unserious answer, please. You're scaring me here. I'm just teasing you, Donald. Let's see here. Uh, Jay, I also have an old 1944-10 Centavos, United States. Nice. That's actually from um, Philippines. But the United States Mint produced it. It says United States Mint on it. Mm. Uh, Judge Silver Pirate, is it true that the Civil War, the Democrats were the South, and the North was Republican? Uh, typically, there were more Democrats in the South at the time. And uh, the Republicans and the Radical Republicans were in the North. Also, the ideologies were shifted as well, too. Democrats tended to be the party of smaller government back then. And the Republicans were more, uh, at that time, were more the party of, uh, of um, more, more, more federalist, federal, you know, larger government, kind of that type of thing. In fact, Abraham Lincoln utilize a lot of a lot of uh, powers that were very questionable at the time of course it was a time of war but yeah there were some shifts in the parties at the time um, of how they 
viewed certain things in those days. But good question. Cha-ching, my cat keeps eating on my cannabis plants, but I still like them. Oh, wow. I was offered some cannabis just the other day. I turned it down. Never tried it before. <clears throat> I got enough problems as it is with coffee. Yeah, Silver Bridge is California was Republican at one point. That's where Nixon came from. And Reagan, too. Reagan was governor of California. All right. Let's see here. Okay, good evening to Repeat74. We've got 67 viewers now. All right, very good. John Knapp. And thanks, Al. Love to go and check it out. Are the prices reasonable? Ah, it's U.S. Mint. The prices have actually gone up. And I talked with a guy there about that, and he says, you know, people got to realize, you know, the U.S. Mint, they actually, and here's, some, here's a little tidbit of inf interesting uh, uh, news about the um, United States Mint. They made 500, I think, million dollars last year, and that went to the general revenues of the Treasury. All right. But yes, it's for the packaging, all that stuff's gone up in price, so they increased the prices. In fact, they had the 2019 Eagles for $55 and the um, the 2020 Eagles for um, um, 64 or 65 bucks. Crazy. $10 increase. Insane the membrane. Thanks, Pudenda. Yeah, I try to stay away from drugs. Uh, I got enough problems as it is. I don't need to be addicted to drugs. You know what I mean? Uh, lovely ladies, on the other hand, like you, Pudenda. It's a different story. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Okay, let's see. Bruce Liggett says, Wow, that's a massive chunk of silver. Dr. Sal, very nice indeed. Well, thank you. Appreciate that, Bruce. Appreciate you, my friend. Alan Gold, he left without saying goodbye. He says, really cool if you choked on it, just saying. Well, you just said it. There's no reason to, to just saying you already said it. He insulted me on this Valentine's Day. That's blasphemy, Alan Gold. You're supposed to be nice on Valentine's Day. What's wrong with you? Thanks, Dutch Silver Pirate. I appreciate that. He's encouraged everybody to hit the uh, the like button, the thumbs up button. I wouldn't be opposed to that. You know what I mean? I would not be opposed to that. All right. Oh, okay, let's see here. We'll be, okay, tricky guy, tricky guy. By the way, hello, Thomas Eadsto. Good to see you. Which of your cats is the fastest to bite you if you rub their belly? Which cat is the most demanding when hunger arises? Which cat greets the visitor the quickest? Well, the roles have changed. I would still say a soft teak and cuddly kitty part one, the original, that will bite if you rub the belly too hard. But it's hard to say. That cat's mellow. They've not shown much interest. They've been both have been relatively um apathetic, but I would have to say part two. And then the demanding, most demanding for hunger arises are going to be part two as well. Used to be part one. The fat one. All right. Very good. Silver Britches, a 10-ounce allegory looks like a skateboard wheel. Yes, actually, I just talked about that earlier, Silver Britches. Yeah, it, it's amazing you said that. I just talked about that earlier. That's, that's right. It does remind me of that, too. It's crazy. The skateboard wheel coin. Yeah. Ah, I got this coffee here. It's, it's lukewarm. All in caps is not here. Bob Hill, he left. All caps go left without saying goodbye. That son of a motherless goat. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, how do you guys drink your wild turkey? I just tried some like freaking drain cleaner. Yes, it is pretty highfalutin stuff. I mean, high potency stuff. Very high. Go ask Alice. I think she'll know. We'll ask her, Barbara, when she's 10 feet tall. What do you think about that? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Unlike Michael Bloomberg, even Alice is taller than Michael Bloomberg. Fat German coin says, uh, a Frickendale Special. Yes, indeed. Very fat indeed. Fat, fat, fat. All right. That's a crazy nice fat one. That's what she said. Metallic miner. Very good. All right. And spectacular as a, is likes that I'm getting out of the house more. Well, thank you, Spegs. He's a speg maniac. He's a speg maniac. Is he still here? All right. Mark B. does not miss Alan Gold. I don't miss him either, Mark B. He is totally disposable in my view. He's a disposable viewer. I have no appreciation for Alan Gold whatsoever. Mm. For the pirate ship. Oh, hoy there, me mighty. 
We're going to be on the Dutch silver pirate ship there. We're going to get me some silver and pull it all in there. Some gold, too. Oh, hoy, arg, arg, arg. All right. You don't have to be tall if you're a billionaire. That's right, silver britches. Well stated, exactly. Oh, he's spectacular still here. The one and the only. He's a speg maniac. He's the speg mania. Speg mania is in full effect on his channel with the coin guy. Good channel. And it's not just the coin guy videos that are doing well. He's got other great videos that are doing well. I'm jealous, actually, because he's his channel is much faster growing than mine. And I'm just even more jealous because he's a better looking guy than I am. And I've never even seen him. Let's see here. All right. They will purge your liver and cleanse it. Oh, what will purge my liver and cleanse, cleanse it? Uh, let's see here. I'm curious nutritional thing here. Who is D? What's purging your... Oh, man, I'm, I'm behind. I have appreciation for gold, just not Alan Gold saying here, right? Oh my gosh, let's see. Let's see here, all right. No, Speg, it's you, it's you, it's you, dude. I mean, you, the coin guy adds adds some cool stuff for sure. He's knowledgeable and a friendly guy, but you've got a great, great delivery on your other videos too, and and uh, you know the right questions to ask in those videos. But your other videos too do well, as well. All right, very good. Let's see here. Okay, apples and dates, apples and dates do good. All right. So that, what do they do together? Let's see here. Uh, if you have some dates with apples, they will purge your liver and cleanse it. Cool. All right, I might have to try that. I do like dates. I'd rather I eat dates because I don't go on dates very often. Sell some copper bar that I'm going to make. Right, and in the summer, I'm going to sell some copper bar. Cool. Silver Wolverine live streams make my Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays complete. Here's a slurp for Silver Wolverine. Who, might I add, lives in a Silver Wolverine. And thank you so much, sir. That is high praise. And Silver Wolverine is a great guy. He's got a cool channel. But not only does he have a cool channel with great content, he's just a nice guy and uh, easygoing and um, a wonderful member of the community. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, definitely check him out. Uh, let's see here. Jimmy Lakari, how can I buy gold and silver at spot price? Uh... I might do a video on that, but the the quickest answer is to look out for the deals, uh, and it's all said and done. I can I can I can um, um, stay tuned for a video on that. I might expand on that a bit. Chip Fernandez, new here, I think. Good to see you, Chip. Thank you for the super chat. Thoughts or updates on the J.P. Morgan case? Uh, I did a video on that. Um, if you search J.P. Morgan in my videos. They have turned it into a criminal case now. In other words, the feds are investigating it. There's people that have been uh, charged and, um, and, and some big top kahunes. And uh, they've turned it into a criminal probe. And they're looking at it essentially kind of like they would investigate the mob. That's the latest that I've heard so far. But thank you. All right. Appreciate that super chat, by the way. Especially since my video recently got demonetized for talking about the virus, you know, what's going on. So this Super Chats helped make up for that kind of stuff. Thank you. C. Barrett Savage Stacker says, We all knew that the video was coming, Sal, because you're down with the thickness and so happy that you are. Pictures just don't do it justice. Nice to see it in hand. Wanted to pull the trigger on this so bad, but instead got a tube of eagles and five one-ounce allegories. Thank you so much for showing the piece. Well, you know what, C. Barrett? As far as a pure uh, safe play, you probably did better than I did um, in terms of um, for the amount of money. You got more bang for your buck because I don't think this thing's going to do very well down the road in the secondary market. But I could be wrong. We'll see here. Okay. All right. We got a lot of ones for some reason. Let's see. What are the ones for? Press one for Medio Man. Yes, Medio Man. We haven't seen Medio Man. We got Tricky Guy here. We got Spectacular here. Mark B here. Nato Stacker here. But no Medio Man. Pudent is here. 1,500 dead now. From that. Yeah. Spectacular says, The fact that it's thick is interesting, but I would never buy this or any alligators or allegories. Price is flooring. Yes, no, I understand. Totally understand. It's a 
like any of these kind of higher premium, there's a lot of wild and interesting collector pieces that I would not buy for the same reason um, that Spectacular won't buy this. And uh, But yeah, to each their own really on this kind of thing, right? Because it's one of those things that's like, it's like, it's unique, but the thickness may not be everybody's game, you know, or in, everybody's, um, you know, so anyways, all right, let's finish this coffee up for Barbara. Mm. All right, coffee's done. Now we're going to fill it with water and slurp that. International Stacker says he got a community strike. Yeah, oh wow, really? A community strike? That's crazy. I thought he said he just got demonetized from it. That's insane. Um, there we go, so CT. <laughs> Silver grams to stick up your nose. Silverholic, I'm thinking of doing a parody video that will feature you, if you don't mind. Sure, no problem. It's been done before. And, uh, I do appreciate you asking, in part so I can see it just for fun. But uh, yes, indeed, no problem. It's at all there. Have at it. Have fun. Let's see here. I don't know Spectacular by face, only by his hands. And with that gold ring, love his videos. Yes, Spectacular's got some great videos, David. I do agree with you. Yes, indeed. Got to hydrate, says Cha Ching. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, Stack Stack Save UK. Love Big Chunk of Silver, really like it. Uh, with the way they have been selling lately, the high premium isn't always a bad thing. Yes, they they have pretty good demand for those, for sure. They're starting out. Yes, indeed. 5G was also to have Bio Level 4. Wow, interesting. I did not know that, Jimmy. Wow. St. Eve, yes, you can slurp with beer. Probably won't have the same effect, but yes. Congratulations, it's a beauty. Thank you so much. All right. Did somebody say push ups? Who said push ups? Nobody said push ups. I said push ups. I got to do them. I'm going to do them right now. And uh, we're going to take the number of push ups that I should do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, who is here? Uh, no, I don't have to pee. I don't have to pee, Buddha. I gotta do push-ups. Terry says do zero push-ups. Native Stacker, tell me how many push-ups I should do. Please be gentle with me. Be gentle. How many push-ups should I do? WB is the Apollo 11 corn poplar. Eh, somewhat. 27. We're getting we're gonna get it from uh Native Stacker. Freedom Stacker says, hello, Freedom Stacker, 29. We're gonna get the number from um Native Stacker, he's going to be... Okay, CCT is won't be slurping Igor's wild turkey. Ooh, okay. He's not going to be doing it. He's not going to be slurping it. Where is Native? We're waiting for Native. 15, thank you, Native. All right, that's good. I, that's doable. I think I can do that. Here we go, here we go. 15 push-ups. We're doing it right now. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, what's well, 16? Just a little bit more so that I can be uh, somewhat of a overachiever, just barely an overachiever. <sighs> okay, very good. All right. Push-ups to your arms burn, yes. Get it, Sal. 15 fake push-ups, I know. One for every inch you have. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, let's see. I can't hear you, private. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. Watch to the end to see it, see it out of the capsule or to see the damage. Should I heart my own comment and reply to it so that I know that I'm responding to myself in a live stream? Yes, I'm going to do that. I need to remind myself that I'm responding to my own comment verbally in a live stream at this very moment. Wonder if I'll get the notification. Tricky guy, to do more push-ups, pretend that the fine fuzzies of your carpet that you nuzzle your nose are upper thigh hairs. There you go. I'll be going to do a whole lot more then, that's for sure. Yes, I will. 
Carrying that stack around. Strong I try to silverholic. I try to be. Wow. Mm. It's more fun watching me mow the lawn. Yeah. Might do that again. This year. I'd mowed a swamp. It was a swamp. I'm telling you. Fart myself. There we go. <laughs> Donald. Imagine if I farted with every push-up. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Barbara Carbone says, Wow, Sal, that is certainly a thick coin. Congratulations on obtaining one of those. I'm glad you were able to get it out of the capsule. Looks even more impressive. Thank you so much. She watched at the end and says, SFU. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, yes, indeed. Super Arena says, Wonderful, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate that. Nana Stacker, I had to go check my food. I missed them. Can you do it again? All right, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Here we go. 15 more. Native went to go do his thing. Check his food. So 15 more for Nana Stacker. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, fifteen. Whew, I didn't overachieve that time. <sighs> Man, okay, here we go. Hydro, hi. Tones Drifter Cat is here. Good to see you. No, I'm not that buff. I wish I was. I'm going to get my exercising in again. Rocky Superstar. Sal, that's a fat coin. It is nice. Congrats. Thank you so much. I need to set something up here. Just a minute here. Where are we at? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. Now, I think we're going to try to call somebody. 65 on the chat. Only 41 thumbs up. Yes. Hopefully we can get more. I've got a... The wrong thing here. Where is it? Yes. Stacy. Stacy gave me her number. So we're going to call Stacy. This is her cell phone number. About a funding. Stacy. Stacy. I don't have a huge gut. It's going down. The new computer's working pretty good. Except for last week, we had a little bit of a of a glitch in it, but we're calling Stacy now. <sighs> Come on, Stacy! Come on, Stacy! Hello. Hello. Is this Stacy? Mm -hmm. Stacy. Hello. Um, my name is Frederick. And I was calling about the loan for the business on this Valentine's Day. How are you doing? I'm great. I just, I just didn't hear, hear my voicemail. voicemail? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I didn't hear your voicemail. You just answered. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. You? Yes. Uh, wanted to see about getting some funding for my business here. We, uh, we are uh, in, actually, it's strangely enough, here it is, Valentine's Day. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and yeah. we are actually in the business of creating a silver heart. These silver oh. hearts that we will uh, pour and, and they will be gilded with gold, little gold dots. Oh. Yeah, and we're oh. trying to sell these things. And we want to oh. do it year round, you know what I mean? So we have these solid yeah. silver uh, hearts with okay. little gold, gold gilding okay. on them. Yeah. So we need funding for that enterprise. But I've been in business for quite a while. This is just a new venture for me. Got it. So, so do you, you currently have a current business that's producing, that's producing an annual revenue for the year? year? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, it sure, sure does. We're, we're yanking in probably about um, 
I want to say about eighty-five to ninety-three thousand dollars a month. Yes, I do. In fact, I can have uh, my guy, Rocky Mountain Bear, get it for me. He's now an insider. He's not okay. just a peasant. You know, he's he's actually an honorary citizen. And I'll have him get on that and get all that information together for us. And uh, so, yeah, I think we can make that happen. Yes, indeed, from 2018. And uh, I'll give you the whole year. Okay. I'll have him do, do it all since he's an insider. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And do you also, um, do you currently have any merchant cash advances? advances? I would say oh, no, I would never cheat on you. It's just you. <laughs> it's only you. <laughs> well, well, no, you, you, so you don't have, have, you're not, you don't you don't have, have any present advance, loans or advances out there. No presents, no advances, no loans, no, none of that. We're, we're looking for funding. Yeah, we want to just go one source. One source is it. That's right. What's yes. your name again? Uh, my name is Frederick. Frederick, Fred, Frederick Brandt, yes. Okay, okay Frederick. And, um, if you'd like, like, I can send you over your information. What's the best email address for you? Um, you can hit me up over at um, uh, silverhearts47 at um, AOL.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hold on one second? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. No problem. No problem. Yes. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiere caminar porque no tiene, porque no falta la estación de ferrocarril. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiere caminar porque no tiene, porque no falta la estación de ferrocarril. Oh, yeah, uh, we don't have a web presence yet. We really don't need one for what we're doing because we're simply the uh, the manufacturer. So we're just... Do you we're have just... a website for your current company? Oh, no, 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 because see what we... We're doing this, we're doing this... Um, you know, kind of behind the scenes as a manufacturing company. So we don't really have a web presence. Don't really need one for what we do, you know. How long have you been in business for? 14 years. 14, 14. Oh, okay. okay. And, um, okay. And what are some of the information and we'll go from there? How did you get my number, by the way? Oh, I, it's, it's, I found it through, I don't know, um, um, I guess it was one of those things that may have come through an email. My, my associate handed it to me, Rocky Mountain, and, uh, so he, I don't forget, I'll have to ask him where he got it from since he became Rocky an insider. Oh, that's a, what's the guy's name? Rocky Mountain Bear, yeah. Rocky Mountain Bear is the name of the business? No, that's the name of the, that's the, name of the, no, that's the, name of the that's the name of the guy. It's a strange, it's something, his birth certificate, it came that way. Rocky, you know how people are called Rocky? I guess, yeah. what, what is the name for Rocky? What is the proper name for that? I have no idea. Well, um, there's a way to find what you call me. Yeah. So I'll get it out to you, okay? Okay, sounds good. I appreciate that so much, Stacy. And uh, yes, indeed. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful. Are you going out with your boyfriend tonight for Valentine's Day? Oh, I will see about that. that. But, um, I appreciate the callback. Well, you tell your boyfriend. You tell your boyfriend to give you a hug for me, okay? All right. Well, it was great talking to you. Take care. Talking to you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. You hang up first. Oh, she did. She hung up first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, Hopeful Stacker's got to gotta go grab some coffee. Here's a slurp for you, Hopeful. Mm. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can get somebody else. That was a good one. It was an all right one. We got to let me get over here to the uh, creepy. Yes, creepy, creepy. All right. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? We've got Matt Connell. Um, USB funding... I think these people have answered before, so we're going to give these guys a shot. Shot through the dark, and you're to blame. Jenny Henson is here. Hello, Jenny Henson. Good to see you, Jenny. Freaking nuts, says Sean. Oh, man. Ah, crap. Let's, uh... 
come on, come on. You can't hear that. I'll get a copyright strike if that music goes insane here. Let's see here. Come on. Hmm. We're not going to let this last too long before we... Okay, I think we're going to cut that and go to something else. Where are we at? Okay, let's get another one. Oh, here's one coming in through the pike line here. Hello? One coming into me. It's going to be a robocall. Hello? Yes, sir. My name is Michael with Healthcare. How are you? Hello, how you doing, Mike? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, the reason of my call is to let you know that the rates on your Medicare supplements and insurance have been recently dropped down by 35%. And uh, we are providing you a no obligation discounting code for Medicare supplements. So I believe you already have supplemental insurance along with Medicare, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. I got so Like, if you don't mind, how old are you? I am 68. 68. I got so Like I say, what we can do, we will just send you the discounting code for your Medicare supplemental insurance. So you can compare with your current provider to see. If you are save your money, okay? Okay, that sounds perfect. That sounds great. Okay, I'm all so in. I, so I just, so I just confirm a simple thing. I believe you have Medicare Part A and Part B, both right? Yes, as we confirmed earlier, we do. You don't have to believe it because it's true. Okay, okay and I believe you don't smoke, right? I do not smoke. That's right, but I slurp. You want to hear it? Listen. Okay, and I believe you don't have an email address like you don't use computer, right? I don't use a computer, no. I don't know what that is. Okay, and one last thing for my side. What is your date of birth? My date of birth? It's subtract 68 years from uh, January 12th. So what is that? If you subtract... January the 12th? What? January the 12th, 19? Yes, and 1951 uh, or 50? 51. 51. I got like, and uh, what's your zip code like a postal code, sir? 2005. 2005. Like, I got like, uh, you live in uh, United, uh, Washington, D.C., right? Washington, D.C. Now, let me ask you this. Give me your uh, gender. Are you a male or female? You said your name was Mike, but your, your voice sounds high-pitched. Have you gone through puberty yet? I, I am, I, I am male, sir. I You're, am not a female. Do you identify as a I male? Am, Have you gone through puberty yet, uh, puberty yet, sir? So, uh, so, sir, like, uh, what's your house number and what's the street address? My house number is, is 170B, 17th Street, Washington, D.C., 20005. How old are you? How old are you? Uh, sir, 17 B, 17, uh, 17? Yeah. 17B, 17th Street, Washington, D.C., 20005. is right near uh, DuPont Circle. Uh, sir, did you get a, a sex change or gender reassignment surgery? Have you had gender reassignment surgery, sir? This uh, sir, is... I, your uh, address is, uh, can you, and how you pronounce your last name, sir? It is Runkensteigl. Runkensteigl is the last name. And Frederick uh, is the first that? name. R-U-N-K-I-N-S-T-I-K-L-E. Runkensteigl. Uh, can, can you speak slowly, sir? R-U-N-K and... Are you, are you, did you just call me a sizzle chest here? Is that what's happening over here, tough guy? Uh, like, let me let me tell you, sir. I'm just gonna verify, like, just Whoa. to make sure that yes. we're on the same page. So I'm just saying that how oh. you know, how sir, you I just witnessed a, a massive level of puberty. Your voice sounds deeper now. Okay, my address is 17, 17 B, 17th Street, Washington D.C. 20005. My name is Frederick Runkenskeikel. Runkenskeikel. Fre okay, your first name is Frederick, right? Frederick, yes. Was the other guy I'm talking to, was he a eunuch, where, where his testicles were moved as a boy? It's a very important question. I need to know if he still has his testicles. Uh, he didn't like that. I don't know why he didn't like that uh, question. But anyways, all right. 
Runken. There you go, tricky guys. Got it. Runken Steichel. Actually, it's a K, not a G. Runken Steichel. Nice, Steichel. Actually, S K I K L E. I just made that up. I think he's a tough guy. Mike's a tough guy. Runken Steichel. There you go. Release the clamp. <laughs> there you go. I'm all sound. Anybody else, too? Okay, I think the sound's still here. Runken Steichel. All right, that's, that one just came in. Lisa. We do have a Lisa here, Lisa Davis. Uh, let's see if she will. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's mm, okay. Here we go. Let's give Lisa a call from Encino, California. That means that she should be around Encino. Lisa, Lisa, cult jam. We're making it happen. So Wolverine Trump has not said one tweet about DOG decision to not prosecute Andrew McKay. DOG let him off the hook. Oh, yes. That's right. Hey, thanks, Keith. Appreciate that. Made his week. We are calling Lisa. Lisa. Lisa Davis, West Coast Funding Manager from Premium Merchant Funding. What a name. Premium. I love these names of these scammer companies. There's probably not even a real... Hello? Lisa Davis, I apologize for missing your call. Please leave your name and number at the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. That was fast. We'll try to call her later. We got Lisa. We got her on speed dial. Old Lisa there. <laughs> they sure do, Stainy. They sure do. They get, they get a little, little testy. <laughs> they get a little testy, don't they? We don't have their testicles. Son of a motherless goat. Testy without the testicles. James White. Rachel at Soar Funding Solution. Let's get Rachel on the line. She's the senior account manager at Shore Funding. We got to talk to we got to talk to her. We got to talk. All right, here we go. Mm. Hello. Hello. Ah, it's gone into another system of. We've gone into the second level of dreams, like in um, uh, what's that? What's that darn Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, man. You hear that music? I wonder if it's copywritten. We're going to try to play guitar to it. Let's see here. Here we go. Um, my name is Alan Goldenstein. Alan Goldenstein is my name. Yes, I'm still here. Oh, were you? oh no! Okay, yeah, you were. See, I was, uh, I was hearing some music. I, I can sing a little. You know, it is Valentine's Day, right? And you're working, so I thought, you know what? Let's do a little ditty for the lovely lady on the other line. Sure, funding solutions is there today. It's Valentine's Day, but that's okay. And this lady has answered the phone. When I called, she wasn't home. Oh, yes, because sure funding solutions don't care. About this lady and her long hair. Do you have long hair? Or else that lyric won't work if you don't have long hair. Tell me you have long hair. Uh, okay, that line is not going to work. And uh, thank you so much for the song. I really appreciate it. But there are other people waiting. But I spent hours writing that. I spent hours writing that just for you. I, d I am interested in a loan. I'll, I won't do the chorus yet. I'll, I'll wait on the chorus until we get the loans uh, uh, figured out because I know you got other people okay. here. So what do we do about this before I get do a little ditty about Jack and Diane, two American kids that grew up in the heartland? Okay, Alan, that is no problem at all. Um, 
I'm going to collect some basic information from you. Okay. Hand over to or friendly ambassador to are going to contact you back. First name A L L E N, last name G O L D E N S T E I N. Yes, except that first name is A L L I N. Alan Goldenstein. Goldenstein, yeah. It's a weird spelling. It's a California thing. I don't really don't get it either, but yeah. <laughs> That's okay. And what is the name of your company? It is Goldstein uh, Procedural uh, Bookings. Goldstein Procedural Bookings. Got it. So that's correct. Yes, yes. Great. And does your business have a DBA name as well? Uh, no, we just go by that, yeah. No problem. What is your phone number, your business phone number? Uh, do you see it on the caller ID there? Uh, is it 202-867-5309? You got it. That's it. Uh, See, Jenny, you were right on top there. What's your name, by the way, sweetheart? You don't mind if I call you sweetheart, do you? That's okay. My name is Tari. Tari. Oh, cool. Very good. You ever been tarred and feathered? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Uh, that's good, because I've heard that's no fun. But that's cool, Tari. Very cool. Nice. Same, same number, yeah. I'm, it all goes back to the same, same, same thingamajig, you know? Oh, got it. Okay. And what is the best time of day to contact you back? Uh, well, actually, believe it or not, two in the morning is really good for me. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but you can try other hours, but I'm like, way to go, zippity doo, ready to go at two in the morning. Uh, is there anybody around at that time? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, the next best time would probably be around four in the afternoon. So. Yeah. So two a.m. or four p.m. My my home address. Email address. Email address. Oh yes, yes. It is it is a Goldstein four seven at compuserve.net. Okay, that's A G O L D S T E I N four seven and can you spell it out? Uh four seven at compuserve.net. C O M P U S E R V E dot net. Got it at compuserve.net. I got it. Thank right. You. Yes ma'am, that's correct. Regarding the business ownership, are you a hundred percent the owner? Fifty one percent. Yeah. How long have business? 14 years. 14 years. Thank you. Yeah. And what type of business is it? Uh, it is a booking agency. We 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 do we book uh, bands that uh, specifically sing about precious metals. Oh, I see. Nice. It's a very n small niche, but yeah, yeah. But they're they're out there. You know what I mean? Uh, if we could get about, we need this for our next initiative. We'd like to get about uh, one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for it. You ever heard of Queens of the Stone Age? No, unfortunately, no. How about um, uh, Taylor Swift? You ever heard of Taylor Swift? Yeah, I have. The previous band that she was in, they used to sing about precious metals all the time. Shit's where she got her start, and we uh, we booked oh. them. Yeah. So we've got some, you know, there's a couple of others out there. Name of, what's some of the bands you know of or like or listen to? I don't really listen to bands. I do apologize. I'm more of a rap kind of person. A rap? You like rap? Cool. You like uh, Jay-Z? You like um, uh, 50 Cent? 50 Cent? Um, no, it's more of an Eminem. Okay, uh... Eminem, cool. That's cool. Well, Fifty Cent, I got Fifty Cent started. You know, that's there's metal in half dollars, you know, and uh, and he sings about precious metals because used to, they used to make half dollars out of ninety percent silver, as you well know. And so oh. I got Fifty Cent where he is, but Eminem's cool too, man. Yeah, I like some Eminem. 
You know, um, what is that one song he does? Stand up if you like to stand. Who was who am I? Stand up or whatever. What is that? What does he say there? Okay. I'm How does that go? Really sure what, I'm not exactly sure what songs we're talking about. I really wish that I could entertain this topic, but I do have to collect information from you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any other new information you need from me? Uh, yeah. Um, why do you need this capital? What is uh, working capital? Equipment? Inventory? Advertising? Cash flow? Uh, we'll say advertising. Yeah, we'll say advertising. Advertising. And what is your cross monthly balance? My what? My cross monthly balance? Gross monthly income. How much do you make a month? My gross. I've not heard that term. My gross monthly balance. Hmm. Um... Well, I'm yanking in probably about eighty-nine to ninety-three thousand dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Sure, yeah. Uh, patch me on through. That'd be cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean transfer. Transfer me. Patch is an old term. They used to, at the switchboards, they used to take the, and move the little knobs over to the other, pull out these little things and stick it in somewhere else. That's what she said. And then it would go to a transfer to another person. So you can just transfer me. That'd be cool. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I am familiar with Patch. But what I'm saying is that um, the office closed at 3 p.m. today. Oh. So the next available time that they would be calling you back Monday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Preferably 2 a.m., but 4 p.m. would work fine, too. Oh. So, yeah, they can call me back at 4. No problem. Uh, I just like for the information. I'm going to relay this to our budding specialist. They're going to contact you back during our normal business hours. We are open Monday to Wednesday, 9 to 6, Thursday, 9 to 5, and Friday, 9 to 3. Please be ready to submit the last six months banking statement in our website. We will try to do all of these things, but is there anything else available to all of us? Uh, no, Tara, th I think that's that's wonderful. You've been very tolerant of me. I appreciate that. Get the play on words there. Get it? You've been very tolerant of me. Because your name is Tara. You see what I'm going with that? Yes, we got it. All right, very good. So, you know, we are going to be in contact soon. Thank you so much for calling. Sure, but the solutions have a wonderful evening and have a Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. All right, you take care. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Phew. With a real sound nation, please stand up. That's what it is. I knew it was something stand up. I just didn't quite get it exactly right. ACP is here. Hello. Right, let's see. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, we got this. Let me see here. Oh, let's try to call back uh, Lisa. We've uh, tried to call Rachel. We got Lisa, Lisa, and Cult Jam here. Where is Lisa? Where did I see Lisa? Lisa, she was down here somewhere. Here, Lisa Davis. Come on, Lisa. Please answer, Lisa. Come on, Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona, Mona Lisa. We're going to Mona, Mona Lisa. We're going to Mona, Mona. Silly love song. There we go. Yes, we can do it, Terry. Silly love song. Hey, Colorado kid. Dude. Colorado kid, did you see my video on the uh, on the Germania? Uh, I posted it, shouted you out in it too, brother. Oh, come on, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, you're breaking my heart, Lisa. Son of a, patch me through to Lisa, please. That's right. Patch me through to Adams. Patch me to Adams. Ah, oh, man, where are we at? Gary, Gary Bailey, let's try this. It's an 800 number. 
We're going out on a limb on this. Oh, I do have another one. Microsoft Tech Support. They called me just before I went live. And I got them right here. But we'll try to call Gary first. Come on, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Later, Silverholic. Appreciate you, brother. The Bruton extension. All right. Let's try to call Microsoft Tech Support. We got it. It is. won't they answer I need technical support is what I need where do we have these numbers man I tell you what these people they say they're gonna be around to answer the phone and yet they're not Josh these are old numbers these are old numbers that we've already messed with before there's a West Coast Raymond funding. Let's try to call Raymond. Try to call him. Then we'll get back to the front. Then I'm going to see if I can exercise and kick you guys at the curve. It's getting later here, folks. What? Can't believe it. Just stop. All right. Let's get back here. Let's get, let's get serious for a moment. Let's get some more of these comments. Let's get some more comments down out of the way. Sterling Cannabis, I don't like the idea of a barrel. I want a flat round. Just think of the, think the boobs would be bigger. That's true. Yes, high relief boobs. You're right, Sterling Cannabis. You're exactly right on that one. Dummy Thick says Roy Owen Huxlin. Yes, Dummy Thick. All right. Not sure I get the context of that, but that's all right. We got uh, Auntie Norte. He's a newbie. Welcome, Aunt Aunt Orte. Good to see you. Welcome. He's a newbie. He's a newbie. Yes, he is. Smoke him if you got him. All right. Chad says it's badass. The bomb dizzle. Basically, one of a kind piece. For long term, the value may be the same. What you pay for it when silver is sixty dollars per ounce. Just my opinion. You're probably right. It would be interesting to see it on eBay for a 15-day auction. Yes, it sure would. Crazy. Steve Woods, uh, they called to tell. I had a fraud in my ass. You can call them back for me. Okay, okay, very good. I'm going to take your word for it, Steve. We're going to try it right now. Social Security fraud number, all right? This is risky doing this, but we're going to take his word for it and we'll try it out here. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like it's not working. Does not like that number. We tried. But thank you for that, Steve. Okay. Tanzanite is here, and Sean's still here. Yes, love messing with those guys. Thanks. Donald, thank you. All right, let's see. Eddie, hope you're expecting a glorious VD. All right, experience a glorious VD. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Okay, all right. I don't know if it's an Illinois number. Might be. Johnny just admitted Corona escaped from a lab there. I heard it came from bat soup. But that, wow, that's scary if that's the case. Man. Corona with the side of Lyme disease. That's right. All right, Thomas, love from Norway. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. 
All right, we got someone from Thomas from Norway. Welcome, my friend. Gen C, great piece. Two bad milk spots are ruining the series. Yeah, I know. I've heard people have seen. I've seen. I think one of my Germanian pieces has milk spots, but that is too bad. I agree. Thanks, Jen. Gene says, I carry a bunch of them in my front pants pockets like spare change. Wow, there you go. Boy. Whew. Interesting piece. Probably no fakes out there. Looks hard to make. Yes. Exactly. That's the one good thing about it. It's the real deal. All right. Uh, digital server scammers number called a few weeks ago back. Uh, can you call the number back? Digital silver? I guess we'll try it. What is the scammer? I'll copy that. First, says Grow Mechanic on this. Thank you, Grow. Is he still here? I don't think he's here. Yep, says Silver Drill Pickle. Watching YouTube at work. Thank you. All right, thank you, B Demon. Let's try it real quick. We'll try it. I don't know what the scammer is, but we'll try it real quick. Digital Silver. Take him 30 seconds to answer that, but we'll see here. Hopefully it's um probably numbers out of service now, probably. Yep, it's not working. Get back get back my stuff here. Silver for life. It's a nice round, but I kind of moved away from the high premium stuff. That's totally understandable. I definitely uh, can feel you on that. I've That's why I've kind of gone more toward gold, towards gold and kind of moved away too as well. But there's some pieces like this that I still get just because I like them. Okay. Ozzy, local pathology has a sign on door. Cannot test... Corona beer. There you go. Call number below if you have symptoms or recently traveled to Asia. Wow. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Um, Jim Farrell says, nice piece to have, but I still hold bullion. I would sweat trying to get even uh, my purchase price from a dealer or a collector if you're rolling in fiat. What the F? Yes. And thank you. And I'm not really rolling in fiat, but there's some pieces I'm willing to pay a little bit more than others just for collectability, but yes, thank you. All right. All right. Let's see. Chad Lickenstein says, stack gold if you can. Common sense. Just a matter of time before they won't be able to issue the contracts and look at rhodium. They don't trade that in contracts. But rhodium, it went way, way down for quite a while. For sure. All right. All right. Let's see here. But thank you, Chad. Eddie would be quite suspect of such a round being unmolested if it were to be found without marks on the curling. So it was a rather soft metal, finding a large round in perfect condition, perfect knurling would be nearly impossible. Interesting. Well, it's all a matter of how to get it out of the dies or the collars, I guess. You know what I mean? But yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, that's a fat slabber, says Isaac. I must agree. To coin an album title of Jethro Tull, Thick as a Brick. Yeah, I'm with you. That's right. Thick as a Brick. Yes. Thanks, Chuck and Plata. Good post. All right. John Knapp, I'm screwed. Oh, my goodness. I'm f uh, The falling Australian dollar against U.S. dollars tending to level out the currency downward trend in silver prices. Do oh, Yes. I think that is kind of the, the whole notion of kind of what this video, yes, is saying. You're right there. Thank you. See what more we have here that have sprouted up. Pretty good amount. This thing will go haywire. It did for me before when I tried to capture more of these comments before. Hopefully, we're getting near the bottom. Yep. See, it's going crazy. Yep. It doesn't, no matter what browser it does, it, this happens. It goes nuts. Stop. Don't do it. Right there. Stop it. It's wanting to load all of these comments, and I don't want that. 
Well, on that note, guys, we've been going for almost two hours here, an hour and some odd minutes, and we've had some fun. This thing's going to just go crazy. I'll answer the rest of these offline. Appreciate you all. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, unless you're Cyber Curtain Twitcher, because it's not Valentine's Day anymore there. It's the 15th. He's in the future. Cyber Curtain Twitcher is. All right. Appreciate you guys very much. Sleep well tonight. Have a good one, all. A multitude of gratitude. This thing is still going nuts on me. Look at that. Have a good one. Take care. Keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for your lawnmowers. Bye-bye, all.